Hi everyone, in this video, a quick formula review. And today we're talking about potassium and pH. Remember, pH stands for power of hydrogen. The more hydrogen you have in the body, the more acidotic you become. Hydrogen, when you become acidotic, your hydrogen increases, it spreads out, wants to go into all the cells, intracellular, extracellular, and spread out. When it does that, because it has a higher charge, it kicks the potassium out of the cell. If you're acidotic, your potassium's going up, and we can calculate it. For every change of the pH by 0.1, it'll change your potassium by 0.6. So in this case, we're gonna start with normal values and see the impact on the change between potassium and uh, pH. Let's start with the normal pH. Normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. That's the normal range. We're gonna start with a pH of 7.40. Perfect, right in the middle. If everything looks great on your ABGs and you got 7.40, you are bowling strikes on your ABGs. Perfect. Let's look at our potassium. Normal level, uh, 3.5 to 5 uh, milliequivalents per liter. We're gonna take a potassium of 4.5 to start with. So pretty normal values. Let's see what happens. If I take the 7.40 uh, pH and I drop it by 0.1, right? I'm gonna drop it. Remember, pH falls into a vat of acid when the numbers go down. So when that number drops, they're becoming acidotic. If I go 0.1, 0.40 to 0.30, that's gonna shift my potassium by 0.6. So I went from a 4.5 on that first shift right up to a 5.1. I'm already at my level. Just that 0.1 shift in the pH was enough to take a normal potassium and throw it up to the upper limits. If I drop down again, if I go from a 0.3 to a 0.2, uh, my pH goes to what, 5.7, okay? At this point, I'm seeing ECG changes, I'm seeing peak T waves, I can uh, begin to see changes in my patient. Now, why this is so dangerous? Hyperkalemia can suddenly explode into life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias. So of all the electrolyte derangements, hyperkalemia cannot be allowed to persist. We have to treat that. But that's the change, 0.1 in the pH, We'll change the potassium by 0.6. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. More formulas to follow.